students in this session we we'll discuss the solutions of the dpp on alkyl charge is adjacent to the ring it undergoes ring expansion that is 1 comma 2 bond shift so if we remember the card 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i go for the at the same to this positive charge then this convert into the plus charge 1 2 3 4 5 and twice negative charge it acquires the plus charge Are you getting now? Okay. Now this negative charge will make a bond formation with this positive charge. The converting to one, two, three, four, five, six. The six number will be small. For the plus charge, anyway, it is same. Nothing any difference because all carbons are sp2 and the secondary carbons. Upon this attaching of I minus, it convert into the product. So these are the steps which are involved: converting of one cyclopentyl methanol into iodo cyclohexyl. Second, it is ether compounds that is cyclic ethers. These are simply epoxides. Cyclic ethers are known as the epoxides. It is leading with again H plus ion by H two O. Again, this oxygen can utilize this 
lone pair of electrons with this H plus ion to get protonated. Come to the answers and then, whether in the first case as well as in the second example. The plus charge and more electron negative atom with incomplete octet configuration highly unstable. More electron negative atoms like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur can hold the positive charge with complete octet but highly unstable to be incomplete octet 2, 4, 6 now either of its left side or right side bond involved in the cleavage if the left side bond side right side bond under the cleavage you get a plus charge on this carbon which is 1 degree carbocation it is go from the cleavage on left hand side you get a plus charge at this carbon it is 2 degree carbocation not only 2 degree carbocation it is also resonance stabilized Because there is a resonance between the lone pair and positive charge, means plus M effect. So, the cleavage from the left to right side ball not only it can able to form more stable carbocation, but also it get or experience the resonance of it with this lone pair electrons of oxygen that is positive mesomeric effect. So to experience the resonance effect also to get the stability. Upon this if you find attack on this carbocation and forms Utilizing of lone pair electrons of oxygen atom with the bond formation, it acquires the plus charge. So, cleavage of any of the bond minus of H plus ion, it converts into the This plus ion being utilized in the first step will again be released in the last step. Still, one more oxygen which is in the epoxide form. So, if we use one more, one more mole of acid, then it is again get protonated by donating of lone pair electrons of oxygen. Secondary group of oxygen atom. Similarly, it can also acquire the positive charge. Again, which bond is going for the cleavage, whether left side or right side? In this case, we may break the right hand side bond. Because the positive set this carbon gets stabilized by these lone pair electrons involving in resonance due to positive mesomeric effect. So, cleavage of this bond
now this carbon acquires the plus charge. Again, upon this attacking of nucleophile, it converted to E. Two hydroxy groups on one carbon is highly unstable, so immediately it undergoes dehydration and convert into the Carbonyl compound. So, this was the third. Second question. It contains more number of steps, but it is important. As per the national level entrance examination. Okay. I hope most of you will get these answers. Once I discuss this question in your classroom also, if I am not wrong, right? So how many of you know this answer? That depends on of your reading capacity. Chemical property of alkyl halides. Now these two are chiral carbons. Treating with the H two over acetone. means it is a weak nucleophile. So it is an example of a simple reaction. So what was the product in this case? General SN1 reaction can be converted to racemic mixture because the reaction proceeds to the formation of Carbocation intermediate. So it forms the loss of this leading group in the form of Cl minus. Is what the intermediate form in the reaction, which will be converted into products by attacking of this nuclear weapon, front side as well as the back side. Are identical? No. For example, look at this. The mongol first, second, third. The leading.
least prior to era term, not present in the vertical line. So it is R among of these two. First, it is first, it is second, and it is third. It is now S. Where are this compound now? It's again is there is no change in the configuration of this because this carbon is not going to be any change because the nuclear cell is not able to attack on the second carbon. So it's maintained its a configuration. So R is converting into this, but whereas in this case it was forming the change of only one carbon. When we get this make mixture, if at all a single chiral carbon atom generates by attacking of nucleophile on carbocation, it can form a pair of enantiomers, which are known as the racemic mixture. Let's see the molar concentration. Okay. But in this case, it is generating another chiral carbon atom. So, if a system generating a new chiral sector, if the compound already contains a chiral sector, then it can form instead of enantiomers, it forms what known diastereomers. These are not identical, not racemic mixture, but these are now diastereomers. If an sp2 carbon is converting to sp3, having a single chiral center, then it forms a racemic mixture. If a system already contains one chiral center, by attacking the nucleophile generate another chiral center, then it always forms a pair of diastereomers. Most important. Okay, very good again. If the system in a system, if an sp2 carbon is converting into sp3 and containing a single chiral center, it forms a pair of enantiomers. But if a system already contains one chiral center. And attacking of nucleophiles generates a new chiral center. It always gives a pair of diastereomers. So, based on this, also they put a question in the entrance. Mode. Okay? It is a very simple question. Based on the concept, if it is dealing with the tosyl chloride, what is tosyl chloride's structure? Is but as a, in the above case, chlorine is a good leading group. Whereas OH is not a good living group, it is a poor living group. Poor living groups made to good living groups by treating with the reagents. For example, alcohols are poor living groups, so by treating with them acids, it converts into water molecules. What is a good living group comparing with the OH? Or treating with the tosyl chloride because tosylate ions are very good leaving groups. So, this hydrogen atom of alcohol removes with this chlorine. And 
form four tiers. The soil layer panel. It is treating to be sodium bromide, NaBr. Na plus Br. Br is a strong nucleophile which is attacked from the back side. Then it was removed in the form of OTS. Tosylate ion. It go to LG, living group. And it forms a product. In wedge condition, now it is converting into broken wedge. Means there is a change in configuration which was known as the inversion. In which reaction we get the inversion in the configuration? Tell me, students, in which reaction inversion? of the configuration takes place. Hmm. Simple. That is a cell to reaction. So come to this case in a cell to reaction, why this bromide ion attack from the back side? Because it contains an empty Orbital, which is known as the ABFO anti bonding molecular orbital. You learn your molecular orbital theory in your first year, right? So it is what we can call as BFO bonding molecular orbital. And ABMO is exactly opposite to the BMO. Bonding molecular orbital, it is anti bonding molecular orbital. Generally, it is not involved in the bond formation. But in some cases, if a strong force introduce increased electron density on this anti bonding molecular orbital, then the pair of electrons present in the bonding molecular orbital. Leave the card. That was the reason the nucleophile attacks from the back side because it has the empty anti-bonding molecular orbital on this sp3 carbon atom. It is what we can call as the attack of nucleophile from the back side or opposite direction of the Nucleophile. Okay. Come to fifth law. It is an acetone. It is an acetone. Sometimes they give the reaction to you and they may ask how many SN2 reactions are takes place in that given reaction. Such questions are asked in the relevance level of questions. So think about the importance of these nucleophilic substitution reactions. So come again, when this S2 treating with the H plus ion in presence of are treating of methyl alcohol in presence of H plus ion, that is an acid. Generally, oxygen is more electronegative, and so these electrons are pulled towards to the oxygen, which has more electron density. So, they give electron to this H plus ion and get protonated. Move towards the oxygen and convert it to the alcohol. When the 
this card is not quite short charge now. Plus charge. Electron deviation center. So upon this attacking of methyl alcohol lone per electrons of oxygen atom. Plus charge again. Any of these two bonds is over the table. So obviously this bond involved in the cleavage minus of H plus ion converting to the hydroxy ether derivative. What was mentioned in the reaction? It is in excess. So one more metal alcohol involved. So hydrogen and OH group will be removed in the form of H2O. We get a product like this. What we can a diether compound is formed. Okay. It is what we can call as the Ketone. If we use an aldehyde, it is known as the acetal. So carbonyl compounds dealing with the alcohols, they form heavy acetals and the acetal. What is the use of this reaction means? Generally in chemical reactions. To protect the carbonyl groups that is aldehydes or ketones get protected by treating with the alcohols by converting into acetals or maybe ketones. Okay. Come to sixth row. An alkene treating with the MC TBA. Do you know what it is? What is known as MC TBA? It is. With respect to this sulfonic acid, it is now 1, 2, 3. So, what we can call beta chloro per benzoic acid. Benzene. Beta chloro per benzoic acid. Generally, parasites. Convert the alkenes into epoxides. Parasites reading with the alkenes converted into epoxides, that is cyclic ethers. It is what we can call as A. A on treating with the 
methyl alcohol in presence of H plus ion. This reaction taking place in presence of H plus ion means acidic medium. It is not ether. These are cyclic ethers or epoxides. Epoxides generally involving a simple reaction only. But in presence of acidic medium, it shows the reaction which is SN1 type. Present here. SN1 type but not SN2 reaction. What is SN1? It has to form the carbocation. So when this nucleophile will approach into this hydro two carbon atoms. So let me see first this long period of oxygen will involve in this H plus ion and convert into protonated. Now either of these two bonds will go over the cleavage. I just mentioned now, in presence of acidic medium, epoxides participate in SN1 type reaction. Means you have to look at that in which way the bond go for the cleavage to form as the more stable carbocation. Clear? So among of these two, it is more hindered, it is less hindered. If I cleavage this bond, you get plus charge here, that is 2 degree. If it is cleavage here, you get the 3 degree carbocation. So, in acidic medium, nucleophile attacks at a more hindered or crowded car. Whereas in basic medium, less hindered or less crowded car. So if the nucleophile, which is what we are using now, medial alcohol. So this lone pair will be able to attack on this carbon to cleave this bond. So, what do we get about now? The ether is the form. So, it is the answer of sixth question. Seventh one is one degree alcohol, which is staying in the near to Cr two sodium dichromate in presence of sulfuric acid. Is generally one degree alcohols but the strong oxidizing agents like as Jones reagent KBO4 or dichromate One degree alcohols converting to the carboxylic acid, two degree alcohols converting to the carboxylic acids, acid, but less than one carbon. So it is about again one degree alcohol, but using of this strong oxidizing agent. Convert into the carboxylic acid. C 
similar case with mild oxidizing agents. Much more are there, for example, PCC or PVDC, which is generally called as solid cradium, cradium chlorochromate, cradium dichromate. What other one we can use? The mild oxidizing agents, which was in the reaction. If I use them in both of it is only for the benzyl alcohols of 1 degree or 2 degree to get oxidized with the RDX or ketones. AGFO3. Aquas or you may also use the base like as sodium hydroxide or sodium carbonate. These are some examples of mild oxidizing agents. So, what are of these mild oxidizing agents? These are convert the 1 degree alcohols into Ordinates, 2 degree alcohols in 2 ketones. If I treat this compound with PCC, radium chlorochromate, PCC is one of the mild oxidizing agents, so it was converted into an aldehyde, which is an oxidation we get what? Carboxylic acid. So you get these two products. One is acid, and another one is the aldehyde. In the seventh A and the B. which is more important for the entrance level of questions. It is a 2 degree alcohol that is 2 methanol ready with the phosphonyl chloride in presence of a nitrogen base funding is called as the pyridine. This the proteins beauty means red and blue here POC of three in presence of pyridine nitrogen base shows. Elimination reaction. The OCL3 can also show the reaction that is de aeration. Look at the mechanism how this reaction will take place. Beautiful reaction. So, as we know, generally oxygen contains low pair of electrons, where about the POCL3, phosphonyl. Chloride. Phosphorus contain empty d orbitals. So the lone pair electrons of this oxygen atom given to this phosphorus. It forms the coordinate covalent bond with the phosphorus. The reading of electrons, oxygen and points, plus charge. Right? Now, 
properties come back then this cloud is not able to read. Still the following charge are not present. So again it has to contain six electrons. It is incomplete object. Positive charge and oxygen is highly unstable. Now, with respect to this, it is an alpha carbon, it is what we can call as the beta carbonate. So, the periodic base will abstract the beta hydrogen. Trap this hydrogen. Then, So it forms sorry, this is the RK plus what was my product in this case now? So one of the chloride is replaced by the OH group. So it's what the mechanism. So PMOCL3 in presence of pyridine shows elimination reactions. Ninth one. Degree alcohol terminating the NaH. NaH is a strong base which can remove the hydrogen. So it can be able to form it was called as what alkoxide ion. Now, come to the question, alkoxide ion is a better, a strong nucleophile as well as the base also. So, if it is acts as a base as well as a nucleophile, now look at up the alkyl halide present in the reaction. So, alkoxide ion will always give ether with the 1 degree alkyl halide. With a two degree, it can able to give the substituted product as well as the eliminated product. So do do mix more basic nature. It remove the hydrogen from the beta carbon atom. Of So I trap the hydrogen, that is beta hydrogen or Hydrogen atom. Then again, go for the elimination reaction. The product is nothing but the propyl. Instead of ether, it can give the propyl due to its strong basic character.
is also a degree of common predictability. What it is? Chloride no, also. If these hydrogens will be replaced with the chlorine, like chloro glyoxal, in presence of DMSO, what it is DMSO? Dithyl sulfoxide. It is a mild oxidizing agent. So, one degree alcohol that convert into the cardio. It's a name reaction which is called as the oxidation reactions. So these are the questions which was given in the part one. Now come to the second one which is more difficult compared to the part one because it is our conversions. So one can do the conversions who can have the that is a student will have the information regarding the reagents. Then only it is possible to do make the conversions. So conversions are more difficult compared to the chemical reactions because in that there the reagent is given to us. But in the conversions, you should decide what reagent we have to use to convert the reactant molecule into product. So it is very difficult. Right? So conversions help us to learn organic chemistry. Because Unless you don't know the reagent, it is not possible what reaction will be taken, whether it's a substitution or elimination or oxidation or reduction. Okay. So see some conversions in this DPP first one. Secondary alcohol is converted into the Alcohol is converted into cyanide. So look at this. There is no change in the configuration of the reactant as well as the product. So what we can simply do is a retention in the configuration. So it is one type of a substitution reactions. But I just said now, alcohols are not good living group, they are poor. So, it can be made as a good living group. Then only to participate in the equilibrium substitution reactions. So, what we use in this case? First, if we use G, Phosphorus tribromide, then it can do an SN2 reaction, convert into bromides. Then this bromide treated with the potassium cyanide. Cyanide is a strong nuclear, so it's again attack on this. Then the bromine can be cleaned to convert it into sun. It's an example of an SNO reaction. It is also an example of a SNO reaction. So, to convert into these alcohol group into cyanide with the same configuration, there are two SNO reactions are taking place. Okay, so sometimes I just said no. Sometimes they may ask about the how many SN2 reactions are takes place to convert the reactant molecules into products. In this only, 
for more is nothing but the how do we convert this same reactant molecule into inversion of cyanide above one is retention it is what we can call as Inversion. There is only two possibilities. One is if it is proceeding by the one acid to reaction, that is, wedge compound is converting into broken wedge. Otherwise, three acid to reactions. Then this retention configuration converting into inversion. So again, alcohols are not totally true. So first, it was treated with the tosylum chloride. OTS. It's a better liquid. So treating with the potassium cyanide. You have a strong make your file, it will be OTS, tosylate ion, to convert it into product. So there is only one acid to reaction, so it can be the inversion. And there is two acid to reaction, so it is inversion, again inversion, which can be used as the retention of the cartilage. What are the beauty of these two reactions? Second one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This carbon is also contained in the OH group. It was converted into the six member ring of epoxide having two methylers. Just look at the reaction, how it is converted now. Simple. If you get protonated, now question arises which alcohol should we get protonated first? If this H plus ion treating with this alcohol, then we get as the primary carbon If this OH group reacts with H plus ion, we get as the a three degree carbon Generally, it is an SN1 type of reaction, so it preferred to form the most stable place carbocation. So, this OH group of long pairs involved in the bond formation. Chart here. It is a nuclear call, it is now electrophile. So, this lone pair will able to attack on this. It is an intra molecular reaction. Generally, intra molecular reactions are much faster than the 
intermolecular reactions. So, complete the numbers. Please count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the sources and 6. First carbon having of 2 methyl groups. Now we have quite a stress charge because the reading of the one product comes to this carbocation. Class of this express anion. So it is called a protein. Second. is converted into What is the reaction it may be? But in this case, RDA is not reacted first, which was ketone, is reduced to converting into alcohol. So, we are discussing the chemical reaction in part 1. I said to you, alcohols are used for the production of carbonyl group of RDA as well as the ketone. So, in this only to involve the reduction of ketone, we have to protect this RDA group. So, first it was treated with the glycol. Yeast hydrogens removed with this oxygen the form of H2 minus H2O. It was converted into the acetal. Now you can subject subject the production reaction of the ketone with using of lithium aluminium hydride because this oleate now is productive by using of this lithium aluminium hydride cannot reduce this cyclic acetal group so ketone is the only one which was reduced into alcohol that is secondary alcohol Without affecting of this acetal, which on hydrolysis that was removed, glycol and we get as the R. So it is what the third conversion. So which one is whether the oligate or ketone, whichever going to protect it, we can use glycols or its diodes or alcohols are used for the production of carbonyl group by converting into the acetal or ketone.
next one this was converted into again respect as the second one use the protonation of this alcohol minus H2O it forms the carbocation what type of carbocation it is known the 2 degree carbocation it go for the 1.2 methyl shift so this can go for the shifting to increase the stability of carbocation Now it is a 3 degree carbocation. In this system, this one is a pi electron system that is acts as a nuclear current and it is an electron. So this pi electron cloud gives electrons to this carbon atom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it can form a six member ring. Sixth carbon contains two methyl groups. Fifth carbon contains one methyl group. And the second position of this one, it acquired the plus charge. This hydrogen. convert it to the product because in the beginning we use the hydrogen atom for the protonation same hydrogen will be removed in the reaction that means it is an acid which is acts as a catalyst in this conversion so it is about the fourth conversion an open chain is converting into cyclic compound Next one, A on hydrolysis by using the vegetable cell, it forms a compound. It is what we can call as cyclic ester known as the lactose. 
So symbol it is in Fischer esterification reaction. An alcohol reacting with the carboxylic acid in presence of an acid forms ester, which is called as a Fischer esterification reaction. That is an intermolecular reaction. But to form the lactone, it undergoes intramolecular Fischer esterification reaction. What it is? So the possibility of acid and alcohol. So this can be removed in the form of H2O to convert it into cyclic ester. So it is what about the professor Esterification reaction within the molecule because to form cyclic so it is also known as the intramolecular Fischer esterification reaction. Next one. An halogen compound is converted into ketone. It is six member ring only, but in this case, among our six member ring, a four carbon atom of keto group is introduced. Now, how do you convert this? So look at this, if it is treated with the magnesium metal in presence of dry ether, it forms grid not reagent. Zero. So if using of this grid not reagent, now, guess yourself with which one reacting of Lignard reagent is converting into ketones. Of course, you can do this one by using of number of steps, but the conversion is better to minimize the steps. When it is possible, if you know the subject, revise more and more number of times, then you can get an idea what was the reagent we have used to convert these reactant molecules into products. It is not an hard, simple thing. You have to make practice and practice, just like as your mathematics. There we can use the formulas to do solve the problems. Here we use the reagents to convert the reactant molecules into products. Okay. So now come to this. So how do you convert this Grignard reagent into keto? Did you get the answer? Okay. Generally, any acid derivative trading with the Grignard reagent converting into ketones like as esters, acid halides or amides when you treat with Grignard reagent they converting into ketones. So if this was reacted with the an ester or acid group, whatever you can take as you wish. Continuing of four carbons. One, two, three, four. Now this negative part has a attack on this carbon atom, then this bond go for the move towards the more electronegative of oxygen atom. 
Now, what happens in this case now? There is a bond formation between the One, two, three, four. Okay. If it is methyl toxin medication, okay. It is what the conversion of halogen, that is haloalkane to keto groups. First, it is converting to Brignard region, then upon this, treating with any acid derivative, like as acid amides, esters, amides, they can give the ketones. Can anybody say what mechanism it is? Of course, it is also the nucleophilic substitution reaction. Anyway, it is nothing but the SNPH. Tetrahydrocarbon is converting into tetrahydro geometry. Okay. Next. Trading with the NaNH2. Now it is a base. What is the value of the base? Base always look for the acidic hydrogens. So this base can trap this hydrogen. Now it became a the alkoxide ion. Trading with the I just said no, only. We do one conversion also. Alkoxide ions are strong bases as well as the nuclear. If it is act like as a base, they trap this hydrogen atom, then this bond move towards to this carbon atom by leaving of this group. So, what we get now? Trans beauty is formed. In some of the examples in this conversion, we get as the cis beauty. It is now trans beauty. So this alkoxide ion trap this hydrogen atom. That is which is now beta hydrogen. This beta hydrogen can be removed by this base. And these electrons are moved towards, towards this carbon atom to leave the living group to form as the product. Last one is DPP. I hope you get all these. Last one, trading with the sulfuric acid. So acid can produce H plus and now there are two oxygen which are able to donate to able to donate electron pair to the H plus atom. Now it's simple what we can call as Penaco, that is diodes. So, in the penacol to penacolon rearrangement, the positive charge is formed at always most stable place or most stable place. 
So if it is 3D, 3D is known for D. So this lone pair will be able to give the electrons to this hydrogen atom to form the more stable carbocation. is known PDP OH in this to show the position of positive charge at this carbon atom because to form chemical ion it has to get the positive charge on the carbon containing of OH so in this hydrogen atom involves in the much common to hydride shift Now we get a plus charge at this carbon atom having more OH. Now this lone phase involved in the reaction. So it is an alkaline. Means a keto. So it is what we can call as the phenol to phenolalkyl. Okay, so this is about the DPP of 19th May paper. Of course, it takes much more time because it cannot go for a single step reactions. More number of steps are involved in the reaction. We shall not discuss in hurry because this concept you can use in further reactions also. So that I will go detailed explanation for you. To recollect of your memory with regarding of this alcohol concept. I already said again. Repeating the same rules for the entrance purpose, for the needs are advanced, even come to our state examination of MSED also. You should have to concentrate more oxygen containing compounds. That is alcohols, phenols, ethers, carbonate compounds, aldehydes are ketone, carboxylic acids. This is the area in our organic chemistry that the examiner should focus more. So if you read this oxygen containing compounds, it is better to you to do the questions in the entrance. Okay. So it's second DPP on alcohols. The first DPP which is based on the Preparation methods and it is about the chemical properties. Okay. I hope you completed the alcohol talk now. Still, if it is required, more reactions among of these alcohols. And I will give one more EPP comparison of the preparation methods as well as the chemical properties. Okay?